Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another summer makeup tutorial for you guys. Today I wanted to play with some kind of warm toned orangey color, something a little bit different for me because I knew I wanted to do kind of like a bold orangey lip. And I used the Laura Lee Violet Voss Collaboration Palette, you guys. I'm obsessed with this palette. It is so amazing. I just got mine and today was my first time using it for this tutorial and I love it. The shadows are amazing. They have like basically every shadow you could ever want. We have mattes and neutrals, some shimmers, some pops of color. Like Laura, if you are watching this, you did such an amazing job. I am so proud of you. This is an amazing palette. I will have all the info and details about how you guys can get this, when you can start the pre-order and everything else down below. So just check there because I don't want to say anything wrong when it comes to dates here. So I'll have it all in the info box. Check there as well as all the other products that I use. But this is a super, super amazing palette. So congratulations to you, Laura. I love it. And this is also a really exciting video as well because it's actually a collaboration with my friend Ashling over from Dramatic Mac. I love her YouTube channel. She is the sweetest, nicest person. She has a beautiful accent. I literally love it. And she makes really, really great videos. So I know you guys will love her content. She's also going to be doing a summer makeup tutorial. So check down below. I'll have her channel and her tutorial linked down below. So when you guys are done watching mine, go over to her channel, watch her videos, and tell her that I sent you. And yeah, if you guys are from Ashing's channel. Hello, how are you? I'm Kelly. Thank you for stopping by and taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get on into the tutorial. All right, you guys. So to start off, I'm going to go in and prime the skin with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is one of my favorite primers when I want a dewy, glowy skin look, which I have been loving so far this summer. With that primer, my favorite foundation to use with that is the Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Foundation. This is not sponsored by Becca. It's not sponsored by anybody. Um, I just love those two together. This is a really nice kind of medium, lighter coverage foundation. I absolutely love it for the summer. It just makes you look so pretty and glowing. I just drop this on my face like so. I am using shade medium. I am aware that it does look dark when I put it on like this, but my face is a lot um, lighter than my neck and the rest of my body because I always put massive amounts of sunscreen and SPF on my face and I don't self tan my face. So I have to match my face to the rest of my body. And I'm just blending that foundation out with a dampened beauty blender. I find this is the best way to blend this foundation out for a really dewy, luminous, pretty look. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that just has a really nice natural finish, so I have been loving it recently. And I have this in the shade Custard. And then I'm just blending all of that out with the Dampened Beauty Blender. dry concealer I'm just going to go in with some of this HD banana powder from NYX and I'm just going to pop this right underneath my eyes where I put that concealer and on my lid as well because I'm going to use that concealer as a primer but I am going to leave the rest of my face bare I'm not going to add any powder to it I'm going to leave it nice and dewy and luminous if you do have oily skin though I would suggest setting it with just a translucent powder for the eyes today, I'm going to go in with the Laura Lee Violet Voss Collaboration Palette. You guys, I love this. Oh my goodness, this is like life goals in a palette basically. Laura killed it on this, so we're going to go in with this palette today. The first color I'm going in with is Pris Pot, and this is just a neutral matte kind of blending color. It's a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. I love that Laura incorporated so many neutral mattes into this palette. Like, that is literally like a beauty person's dream because we need blending colors and so many palettes forget that and Laura obviously did not. She did such a great job so I love that she incorporated that in here. There's probably one for every skin tone. Then to intensify the crease a little bit, I'm going to go in with Ragamuffin which is the darkest of the more neutral blending colors and just pop that into the crease to just intensify the look. And then I'm going to go in with just a teensy bit of Alabama and just further deepen up that crease. I'm going to do a halo eye today, so in the inner and outer corners of my eye, I'm going to put the shade 1998. So I'm just focusing on the inner corner 
with this and the outer corner and gonna leave the entire middle part of my eye blank. You know what I'm noticing right now as I'm putting this color on? This is a very shimmery color. There's like a lot of sparkle and shine to it, but I am not getting any fallout. So that is amazing. It really shows the quality of these shadows. And then on the center part of my lid, I'm going to go in with the color Larly. And then right on top of that, I'm just going to take a little bit of Hissy Fit. These colors are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to smudge some of Alabama just to really smoke it out. I'm going to skip on liquid liner today because I just really want to show these colors and how pretty they are on their own and kind of like the halo-ness of the eye. But I am going to apply some lashes. I'm going to use these. These have been my favorite from the drugstore recently. These are these 615s from Salon Perfect. They're super inexpensive. I got these ones at Walmart. I think you can find them at Ulta as well. I'm not sure, but those are the lashes that I'm going to pop on. For my waterline, I'm going to pop on some white liner. The one I'm using is from NYX. This is just their Jumbo Pencil in Milk. For mascara, I'm going to use the Estee Edit, the edgiest mascara. Now that the eyes are done, to finish up the face, I'm going to first bronze the skin with this Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer. And I'm just using the Mojo Beauty Duo Fiber F1 brush. I've really been loving this recently to apply my bronzer since it is like Duo Fiber. It just kind of makes everything like blend together seamlessly and make sure that even if you are too heavy handed, it just like blends so nicely. To contour, I'm going to go in with Benefits Hula. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the new Laura Geller highlight. This one is in the shade Charming Pink. I'm just going to pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh my god, how pretty is this highlight? I'm obsessed. Right down the bridge of my nose and right above my cupid's bow. For lips today, I kind of want to do something fun and different, maybe a little corally or orange. So I'm first going to go in with the Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick in the color Cocos Island. So I'm just going to line and fill in my lips completely with this. Now the Ofra liquid lipsticks do dry completely matte. I absolutely love them. They are by far my favorite liquid lipsticks, but for this look, I want to do something a little bit glossy, so I'm going to go in with this bright orange lip gloss. This one is from Buxom, and this is in the shade Tequila Sunrise, and I'm just going to go over it with this. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!